Although it's nicknamed Brew City, there's a lot more to Milwaukee than just breweries and beer. Milwaukee's location on the shore of Lake Michigan and some of its unique architecture make it a beautiful and frankly underrated city. In this series, I briefly touch on a city's history, population, skyline, as well as a few things that make it unique. Now, let's meet Milwaukee. I always like to start by exploring how a city wound up being where it is today. Milwaukee is located where three rivers, the Milwaukee, Menominee, and Kinnikinick, come together at Lake Michigan. Several Native American tribes had called the region home, and the name Milwaukee is derived from the Algonquin word for beautiful place or meeting place at the waters. The first European to visit the area was the French missionary and explorer Jacques Marquette, who came in 1674. One of the unique things about Milwaukee history is that the city has three founders. Solomon Juno, Byron Kilborn, and George Walker each bought land there in 1835 and started their own settlements in competition with one another. The rivalry was so intense, or the better word might be ridiculous, that they purposely built streets and bridges that wouldn't align with those of the other community. Several of these bridges were burnt down by angry mobs in 1845, which led to an agreement to be made to make Milwaukee a single community. Today, the city has a population of around 586,000, making it the 30th largest city in the country just behind Louisville and just ahead of Baltimore. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I think that the metro population is more indicative of a city's true size. Milwaukee's metro has a population of just over 1.5 million people, making it the 40th largest metro in the country. Some of the recognizable companies headquartered there include Kohl's Department Stores, Northwestern Mutual, Harley-Davidson, and the Miller Brewing Company. The city is also home to 12 colleges and universities, including the alma mater of Dwayne Wade, Marquette University. Call me shallow, but when it comes to cities, I think appearances matter, which is why evaluating a city's skyline is my favorite part of making these videos. Milwaukee's skyline is about what you would expect for a city of its size. If you took the average height of its tallest five buildings, it would be the 32nd tallest skyline in the country, just behind Atlantic City and just ahead of Nashville. One of the most fascinating buildings in the skyline is the Milwaukee City Hall, which for a few years claimed the title of tallest completed habitable building in the world, although there is an asterisk next to that title which I'll talk more about in a minute. The tallest building in the city is also the tallest in Wisconsin, and that's the U.S. Bank Center at 601 feet. My favorite skyscraper in Milwaukee is the city's second tallest building, the Northwestern Mutual Tower and Commons, which was brand new when I first visited the city. The most eye-catching building in the city is without question the Milwaukee Art Museum. The museum itself is a work of art, and it has wings that fold out during the day and fold back in at night. Sometimes referred to as the Calatrava after the architect, it's one of the largest art museums in the country and it's certainly one of the most uniquely designed. If you approach the city from the west, the first building which will catch your attention is the home of the Milwaukee Brewers, American Family Field, formerly known as Miller Park. Since many cities have stadiums, I typically only bring them up in this section if there is something unique about them, and the American Family Field is worth bringing up. To start, it's the only stadium in North America with a fan-shaped retractable roof. I believe it's also the tallest stadium in the MLB. And if you are wondering why the team is the Brewers, it's because Milwaukee is considered the brewing or beer capital of the world. The city was once home to several famous breweries. As part of the Miller Brewery Tour, you can actually see the caves the beer was stored in before refrigeration, which I think is pretty fascinating. Milwaukee has a great river walk along the Milwaukee River. It's certainly not as iconic as that of San Antonio's river walk, but it's still a nice feature of the city that makes it stand out. Along the river walk, there are various restaurants and shops, as well as a couple of large skyways extending over the river. Skyways are a staple of cities in this cold part of the country, but I believe these are the only skyways that extend over boat traffic. One of Milwaukee's most unique museums is the Harley-Davidson Museum. It's the only Harley-Davidson Museum in the world, and it has over 450 motorcycles on display. Located in the Deer District of Milwaukee is the Stadium of the Milwaukee Bucks, Fiserv Forum. It's one of the newest NBA stadiums and has one of the most unique designs. The stadium's massive scoreboard is the largest symmetrical scoreboard in the NBA. 
As I mentioned earlier, Milwaukee means meeting place by the water, and the city lives up to that name by hosting what is considered the world's largest music festival. It's called Summerfest, and it was previously awarded by Guinness the title of world's largest music festival. And to finish, I'll talk about what I think is the most interesting building in the city, the Milwaukee City Hall. This building was the primary marketing symbol for the city until the art museum was built. The City Hall is built in the Flemish Renaissance Revival style and was completed in 1895. When it was finished at a height of 353 feet, it claimed the title of the tallest completed habitable building in the world. It's crazy to me that Milwaukee once had a taller building than any building in its lakefront neighbor Chicago. There is, however, a little asterisk next to the title of tallest in the world because the Philadelphia City Hall, which is about 200 feet taller, had already topped out at that point. It just wasn't fully finished for another few years. In any case, though, the Milwaukee City Hall is an incredibly impressive and tall building for its time. Well, that wraps up my video about Milwaukee. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and check out some of my other videos about cities. Thanks for watching.